I'm not sure if this is true for you, but in life, there's so many things that we can't control all day, every day, right? The only thing you can control is yourself and the way you handle situations. Um, but you can also try to control nature. <laughs> I'm not saying you're gonna win, but whenever I'm feeling like I don't have control of situations or I just feel, you know, uneasy, I can come out here and just feel peaceful. I don't know what it is. Like, and pruning for some reason, if I'm angry or, sorry, they are still clear cutting over here, so I don't even know if this is gonna come out well. Um, but you know what I'm saying. Um, pruning is really fun when there's things in your life you can't control and you want something to just go, oh, I'm in charge of this. Um, so let me know in the comments if that helps you. Same with the garden, like planting more food always makes me feel better than going out to the store and buying more canned goods. I would rather plant more food in the ground. <laughs> so anyway, cheers. Okay, so it's Saturday and we're out here in the garden and um, we're opening up some space and taking back some cardboard, getting the soil ready to put some more seeds in and we're going to plant some potatoes. Now I bought some seed potatoes from Walmart. They are GMO free. They are $3 for a pack and I'd say there were about six potatoes in a pack. So. I'm going to plant them whole, to be fair, because that's how I planted my potatoes from the grocery store, was whole. So I'm going to do an experiment to see which is a better deal, to plant your seeds, you know, to buy potatoes and plant those, or to just buy organic potatoes and when they sprout, you know, plant those, which would be more economical. So, we'll find out. Um, it's going to take a while to find out, so stay tuned. Good job. All right, so I've been doing some work and not filming it. Oops. Um, but I'll take you around and show you what I did. And now I'm going to go around and see if I have some marigold seeds to put around the outside. I found some sunflower seeds that I saved and some zinnias, which I love zinnias. So I'm going to put zinnias probably and marigolds around the border. Marigolds are excellent for your border because they're a pest deterrent. Here's one. Here's my little goodies that I was talking about. Sunflower seeds. These are the black beans that I saved. So I'll be able to plant some more black beans. Yay! So let's go look at what I've been doing. So over here was one of those areas where I did have a rug or two down. Oh, you can see a worm on there. So when I pulled the rug, there was a layer of cardboard beneath and there were just worms all in it. Um, but I also did some pine straw around the border months ago. And so now I'm just pulling that back and I'll just be extending this way. Um, and all it takes is something to smother it. Um, so I opened up here to plant more here. I've got kale already down in there and coming up already and peas coming up all around here. Sprinkled some diatomaceous here because there were ants and hopefully they just go find a new home. All of this is ready to be opened up, so that'll be next. Um, this little patch right here I can open up. This just got covered. So I opened through here and then I also, 
I had this open and then I took the cardboard where we took the cardboard off for potatoes and I'm covering it because I'm going to put corn here. I'm going to do like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, just a small patch of corn. I think it's my favorite time when you have to look really close to see them. Um, there's one coming up through the fence there. Alright, good morning. Those are some red bud trees here in Louisiana that are blooming. It is a rainy day and it is about to be raining for like a week. So I'm going to head out to my little garden. I already planted some green beans. I got some new seeds in the mail today and since it's going to rain for like a week, I'm going to go ahead and drop some seeds in the ground today. So I'll show you what seeds I got. All right, I got some yarrow, never grown that. Lima beans, never grown those. Finally got some pickling cucumbers. Of course, I had to try these sour gherkin cucumbers that look like little watermelons. Red Malabar spinach, so excited that that can handle the heat. We get a lot of heat here. Corn, trying a new variation of corn. Gonna grow this salad in the shade. Roma tomatoes, never grown those and a sugar squash because I figure why grow pumpkin if I can't eat it oh wait I also got these cute little pumpkins that I can't eat and acorn squash my favorite to eat so delicious candy cane zinnias so beautiful love zinnias Chinese goji berry I'm really excited about this it's a superfood and I got some kalima bean green beans are a little skinnier so I like that lemon spice jalapeno peppers these tam jalapenos are supposed to be less spicy yummy free seeds kohlrabi and chinese chives awesome and here i go in the rain planting seeds because that's what i do <laughs> then i built myself a fence i was really excited i got 50 feet of fencing from lowe's and the fence posts all in all it cost me about fifty dollars but I've been wanting to do this for a really long time keeping my dogs out of my strawberries is really important eventually I found this I guess it is a fence post posting thing and it worked really good for putting fence posts down so I'm glad I had that and here's how it looked I'm so excited and that's gonna be all filled out with strawberries very soon and the dogs cannot get in getting nice and sunny I wanted to show you guys I've got a new fence I'm also working on a homemade free fence for my other garden and I'm gonna show you today how I am going to try to grow spinach and lettuce in Louisiana where it's already very warm and I've never had success growing lettuce that wasn't really sour so I'm gonna show you that let's go all right so we've gone out and gotten some logs and we're gonna keep working on this little fence and just laying these sticks all around the outside and then covering them with some soil so we can plant flowers in them hopefully I can get them high enough that my little dogs will stay out of the garden so you want to use logs that are already kind of starting to rot you don't want like something that's freshly cut down because you want it to start to decompose okay so it's gonna get up to 80 today so I'm just trying to get as much done as I can before it gets that hot. And then this is just an old burn pile. I'm just going to be planting flowers around the outside, so I'm not super worried about the soil quality. And eventually it'll improve with time.
charge. That's not gonna work. Took down and added a new fence, took down that rose bush, and my husband's about to try to take down the old satellite dish for me. Yay! It's exciting. Are you excited? The kale that survived the winter. And the spinach also survived the whole winter. And now it's starting to take off. Yay! There's the potatoes. That's a sunflower. There's a potato popping up. There's one. This is some of that, um, um, what do you call those greens? Uh, microgreens that I planted in the winter and they're okay. finally growing. It's so crazy when you live in the south you have to get stuff done before like 9 a.m. because as soon as the sun is out like that, whew, it's gonna be hot. So we're gonna go take a little break, cool off, and then come try to get a little more done before it gets 80 degrees on March 11th. Crazy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.